Back inside the Powell Athletic Center, 84 to 66, our final score today. Matt Payton here visiting with the head coach of the Lady Tigers, Ginger High Colvin, Campbellsville, uh, winning their 15th game of the season. Coach, this one's pretty simple. I'll give you the floor. Madison Faulkner was pretty good here this evening, huh? She was. We needed her. Yeah, it was clear that we needed her today. We weren't very good today, and uh, uh, you get, have to give a lot of credit to Mark Methodist. I thought he, he does such a great job with his team, and, and they came out and uh, switched, switched it up on us, switched uh, defenses two or three trips down the floor, and would throw something else at us, and our kids just kind of got um, back on our heels, and they hit a ton of shots early. And just it was a great challenge for us. You know, it was a, a great game for us to, to come out and be challenged. I felt like we were a little bit deer in the headlights. But Madison Faulkner, uh, you know, that's what she's capable of. And, uh, you know, she just kind of put us on her shoulders there between the end of the third and the fourth when we really needed some buckets. We were struggling to score, and uh, she was just phenomenal today. She had 10 points at halftime, finished the game with 30, mm -hmm. uh, 20 in the second half. The efficiency, though, uh, really what you kind of look at there, 30 points. Uh, that's one thing, but to do it on just 18 shot attempts, you go to the free throw line and yeah. cash in 12 out of 14, a really good day. Yeah, and that's just uh, that's just where she's so good. And, uh, you know, she's got that little mid-range. She's so quick, and that's what we talked about at the half. And, you know, when you, your point guard's invested like Caitlin Hall, and Caitlin comes up and she, she's been around long enough that she makes all kinds of suggestions, and she's suggesting what we need to run to get her open. And uh, so, you know, we came out with a little flat screen, and we got her open on that pick and roll some, and then we just got her open on a couple sets that we already had. But, uh, you know, she has to make those, and she made some tough shots. But it was, a, it was a great night for her. You know, and Kate and Lexi in that third quarter, Faulkner obviously got going, but they hit some big threes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you kind of jumped out uh, on Martin Methodist early mm -hmm. in that third quarter, and that was really the difference. You got, you got Deb Martin 27-15 uh, to 15 yeah. in the third quarter and really kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. And we hit some shots. We didn't rebound well the first half, and it looks like we finally did at least win the boards. But, you know, there's no excuse for us to be that poor on the boards. We weren't going after any offensive rebounds, and uh, we didn't do a very good job on the defensive rebound uh, side of the ball either. But we just, um, you know, we were fortunate, very fortunate to come out with a win today. 23 to 13 the rebound in the second half. Yeah. So you, you mm -hmm. outdid Martin by 10 uh, in the second half. And Sammy Rogers, uh, a terrific game today too off the bench coach. And I know missing mm -hmm. Ashley McGeorge today, it, it pressed Rogers maybe right. into a, a little bit of a different role. Uh, you needed her as Pritchett sure. was in yeah. foul trouble as well. 15 points, nine rebounds. Uh, the nine rebounds, a new career high for Sammy just uh, off a double yeah. double. Yeah, almost a double double there. That was a. That's nice, and, you know, I really I get after Sammy because she's got so much to offer us and so much to give, and uh, I thought she hit a big three. We were down, what, 10 or 12 early in the in the first half, and she stepped up and hit a three and kind of got us rolling, got us uh, loosened up and got us a little bit of momentum. But uh, I can't say enough about Caitlin Hall either. Caitlin's sick. Uh, she's got a sinus infection. She feels terrible, and uh, I just feel like she was invested. She had one play down that stretch. She turned it over, I think, just because she was give out and uh, just not breathing and, and just really weak. But I'm proud of her for, for sucking it up and playing hard today. You had in the third quarter, she was actually kind of, she was looking for mm -hmm. some help, I yeah. think. And Shiloh was at the table, yeah. and it came right after that. So and she was trying to get out. She right. knew she was feeling it, but uh, couldn't get that I know, and I'd called a couple timeouts in the first half. I normally don't call. And then, uh, uh, you know, I didn't want to waste one, but I knew, you know, if, it, if we didn't get a dead ball soon, I was going to have to because she was on the side of their shooter, and we didn't want to give up a three just because she was so tired. You know, we talked about Faulkner uh, as we kind of wrap this up. Uh, she ties Emily Fox and Madison <laughs> Clements for 30th on the all-time list with a 30-point game. Coach uh, Denny and I, Hootie and I, were talking before mm -hmm. the game. I said it would be cool if Madison just knocked out all 30 today and yeah. tied those two. Or you need to say stuff like that more often. I, I think I should. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll wish Faulkner to the, the top spot on the all-time mm -hmm. scoring list, see if she can get there. But yep. uh, she was really good, so that's pretty neat. You've won a lot of games with those three uh, young ladies. Now you reach the Christmas holiday. You get yep. some time off. Uh, I know you, you need it. That's a big Busy first semester, you a know, lot of back-to-backs. We do, and you know, just watching our kids, uh, just watching our kids run, and just watching our our energy level, it's just not there right now. And um, I feel like it's just we're fatigued, and we've laid around in the dorm. You know, this is there's nobody on campus right now, and so being able to go home and just kind of reboot now, and and then come in for for conference season is going to be a a great thing for us. We picked up a scrimmage, obviously, with UK. Uh, so we'll go scrimmage them on the 29th and um, maybe be able to work on a few things. <laughs> but come back hopefully after that ready to go. And, you know, we've got some kids banged up right now. Savannah's got two two jammed fingers, Faulkner's wrist. Uh, we we kind of just go down the road. You know, it's basketball season and that's what happens. So now maybe with four or five days off they can heal a little bit, go in and get some shots up, run when there's no contact. 
15 and 0, the best start in program history, number mm -hmm. one in the nation. Enjoy this Christmas holiday. Yeah, I hope. we didn't play like number one in the nation today, but you know you got to give credit to Martin Methodist too. I felt like they came out and played a very, very good game. But yeah, we'll take it and go home with it. Coach, uh, Merry Christmas to you and the Lady Tigers. Thanks, Matt. We'll we appreciate see you on it. January fourth. All right, bye bye. Campbellsville uh, back in action on January fourth as they will play host to Cumberland University. Wraps up uh, the interview there post game with Coach Ginger High Campbellsville wins eighty four to sixty six.